which will create right which will uh, drop then it will create the table and then it will insert the data inside the table so if you see the schema for this table it is having one two three four five six column so these are the all description column and which are having string on string data only so my intention is to show you the data my intention is to search the data inside the table so i just create a table it has some string columns and there i will write the query and get the data fast data right so this script will create drop the table if it already exists then it will create the table then it will insert the data inside the table so i'm just executing this script right so uh, how many record i am inserting i'm i'm inserting 10,000 record now okay so if you'll we'll come here and if you'll we'll see the data inside this table how you can see just write the query like select star from this table yeah correct so now you can see here the we have this uh, 10,000 record along with we have this six column and one is identity which is not required but I have given for some identity purpose so this is the table on this table i have this column and on this column i have to create search index so how will i do that just go to that table there is an option called as the full text index so if you focus on this option you will see one option is enabled only out of all the option define full text index so we'll click on the define full text index there it will ask you for the unique index so there is a condition for the creating the full search text index that you should have they should have we one unique index so what will we do we'll come here and we'll just create a unique index so as i have id columns i will create a cluster unique index on that it depends on you can create cluster non uh, index non cluster also, right so i'm just creating cluster unique index on which column i am create i want to do it on the id column so i'm just clicking on okay so now you will see the index is created on this table so i'm again going to the this table and there i'm creating full text index so defining the index so the name will automatically come you can change the name of the index as per your requirement so just click on the next next in the next window it will ask us the all it will show us all the columns which uh, are not in the uniqueness so these are the six column on which column I have to create the search column. I have to create the index. So language, in which language do you want to save it in Hindi, Marathi, Chinese or any language. But I want to do it for English. The type of column, right? There are some different column. We'll talk about that later. So just select the English. So the next thing is that when the index is created, how you want to track the changes? Let's say on this table there are changes, there is insert, there is update, there is a delete. So how do you want to track it? Do you want to track it manually? Do you want to track it automatically? Or you don't want to track? So I I selected I want to track it automatically. So whatever the changes will be, I, I just want to see the recent changes. So what will I do? I will select automatically and then I will click on next. So in the next window, it will ask me to link it to the uh, respective catalog. But I have just created one catalog. I have only one catalog, right? So I can see only one catalog. So I'm just creating it. If you don't have, don't worry. You can just click uh, here and you can create the new catalog. We are also having some other option called as the full text top the other option. So we will talk about that in later case. So just click on the next. In the next, we define population. This is the third step what we have discussed, right? So first we have to create catalog, then we have to create index, then we have to populate that index. So we are just populating. So it just giving me some information. Now this index is created on this table. Okay. So in this way we can create a full search text index on the table in the next part two we will talk about how we can query the data from this table